It's David from Site3D here, and I'm going to quickly show you how to use the drainage auto sizing and leveling features in Site3D. So we have a couple of networks here. We have a storm and a foul network, and you can see on the 3D view, which is currently five times exaggerated underneath, we have the default uh, drainage network, which has been put in with just default 1.2 meter covers for both the storm and the foul. Um, we can see that we've got some clash detection alerts coming up here and we can see some um, design alerts showing that we've got some things that aren't leveled correctly. That's just because it's falling basically just how the road would fall at the moment or how the surface flows. What we want to do is we want to have it fall all the way towards our outfall for our storm and our outfall for our foul over here. And we want it to be done at the minimum gradients or minimum cover depths or both as well as making sure that we go through the invert level of the pond here. For the sizing, we will be using the drainable areas that are digitized on, but you can also, if you want to, use the uh, conduit properties and go into these conduits. And if, they, uh, if you don't have any drainable areas digitized on, you can type in a manual value. In the digitized areas, you can also go to the properties and pick one of the areas, and you can type in your runoff coefficients or your percentage urban creep. From here, we just want to go to our drainage auto sizing and leveling options go up here and we can go to the auto sizing and choose the outfall that we want to level everything towards click this one here it'll show you the outfall level that you've just picked and that is s18 and it'll then show you the default so we've got our one in 10 maximum grade we've got our minimum covers under design under survey and for the private side of things if your uh, drainage network goes through a pond you'll uh, it will automatically change the invert levels to be at the base of the pond but you can choose that to be at the um, if, it's a, if your manhole is a, an out, a head wall and it's halfway up a, uh, an embankment, you can choose the level at the actual head wall itself. Um, on the auto sizing, it'll have the minimum pipes for private and adoptable, whether you are regrading or resizing all of the pipes or whether you're just only increasing the diameters of what you've already chosen. You may have manually chosen some pipes and you just want to see if everything else would then um, fit. If it needed to increase anything, it'll just bump that up, but it won't decrease any pipe diameters. For the actual sizing of storm, we have the design storm here where we can type in an M560 ratio R, uh, our return period, duration, and whether it's a summer or winter. If you don't know your M560 or ratio R, you can hit the map button and it'll come up with the map of the UK. If your site is at OS Grid, it'll automatically show a little cross on here with the M560 ratio R of that location. Uh, if you don't know where your site is and it's not at OS Grid, or sorry, if, it, if you know where your site is but it's not at OS Grid, you can zoom in and you'll see you get a varying level of detail and you can actually go and pick your position differently to what is on the actual, um, by effort to the default values. You can just choose that to wherever you want it to be. Once you're happy with that, click OK. It'll bring those values back through and just quick click OK. In the event that, say in this case, our pond invert is too high, so in other words, our pond is too shallow for our minimum covers and minimum grades to fall all the way through to here with the uh, new pipe sizes, we can put in, uh, it'll tell us what that the invert level of the pond should be for it to get to it at the minimum covers. So I can just select that one, hit copy, hit OK. And before I do anything else, it's already, so it has actually made some changes. It's actually leveled it down to here. It told us it couldn't get the minimum grade. So what it's done is it's then leveled backwards all the way up here from the uh, invert level of the pond upwards at the minimum grades. Um, this will mean that we don't get our minimum covers at the head of the run. So this one here, we can just about see that we have some concrete protection on our drawing here. So we've actually got a, uh, a manhole, which is too shallow. Um, but it's just letting you know that it couldn't do it with the um, all of the criteria that you asked for, but it's tried to do its best to fit it. Um, what we can then do is we can go into our uh, Earthworks and Ponds tools, go to our pond, and I can level this. I can then go in here and I can choose my level. I can just type that value in. Uh, if I want to, I can round that off to make it more engineeringly uh, sensible. And I can click OK, and it'll then change the invert level of our pond. And then all I need to do now is go back into my auto sizing and auto leveling, choose the outfall again. It'll have all the information we had before with the correct invert that we chose before. Click OK and it'll then regrade using that information. So you can see it's now dropped it down even further to go through that pond. And we now have our minimum cover. This is five times exaggerated just to remind you, but we can see we are now going through and underneath everything here as is required. It's also increased the pipe diameters 
as it needed to as it's going through the network and increase that as you go. Uh, if you want to do the foul as well, so in this case the foul is also um, defaulting to 1.2 meters below the cover levels at the locations and I think it's 150 mil diameter default pipe size. The foul will use the um, number of units put into each conduit. So when you go to your uh, trainage tools here, go to the foul option, go to conduit properties, you can choose a particular conduit and you can type in the number of contributing units to go in here as well. Um, so what we need to do now is quite simply just go to our drainage and auto uh, drainage leveling and sizing options and go back into this one. But this time, just choose our foul. Click here. Uh, this is the default invert level here. This will not be correct. It'll be way too shallow. But you can choose this. And now we can see we've got some extra options down the bottom left here, which is the foul options. Um, by default, it will try to make well. It will make sure that your foul does not collide with the storm. Um, and it will make sure that you've got a minimum clearance between the storm and the foul of this. It won't move the storm, it'll move the foul either above or below the um, storm by at least this amount. And that'll be from collar to collar by default. If you want to, you can reduce those tolerances to have 150 mil from internal diameter to internal diameter, but yeah, collar to collar would be the most sensible one. If you need to, so by default, it'll allow the storm to go up, sorry, the foul to go above the storm if it will be uh, have clearance, but you can manually say, no, 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 must always go below the storm. So you have the choice here, and it'll also then lower that, um, lower your uh, foul whenever it gets within this distance of any storm, just to make sure that you can actually drop it all where they're below. But we're gonna not do that one. We're gonna let it go above or below, click OK, and now it'll tell me I need to increase my, um, or decrease my invert level to 11.7 click OK. And it's also telling me here, uh, it couldn't do it, but it's then regraded back up. So it's failed to meet 11 minimum cover manholes. So if we click OK, you'll see it has actually changed the network to grade all into the, in the right direction, but it won't have the minimum covers at the head of the run. So what we just need to do now is go back into this one, choose this one and type in our invert that we just got. And I'm going to make it just a little bit lower just to make sure we have a little bit of clearance. Um, there we go. Click OK. And it'll regrade all the way down to that invert that we just chose. And it won't have any class detections on here. We've got some um, design alerts saying that we're getting within tolerance. Um, that is because when we go into this option and choose this, choose our outfall, the clearance value that I've got here is 150 mil. But on the design alert tolerance, it'll tell me if I'm getting within 200 mil. So it just lets me know I'm not physically colliding, but I am with I'm getting close to it. So it lets me know where things are getting a bit tight. And that is the auto sizing and auto leveling features of the drainage networks in Site 3D. Thanks for watching.